The secret behind cooking great salmon is making sure you cook it skin side down. Skin side down protects the salmon, stops it from overcooking, but more importantly, we get that skin nice and crispy. In order to stop the salmon from buckling up, tilt the salmon, just lift it up like that, bend it. Take a really sharp knife and just let the knife do the work. Score through, keep it nice and straight. And what that does through there, it allows the salmon to cook quicker, but more importantly, helps get that skin nice and crispy. Now don't slice too deep, otherwise you'll overcook the salmon. Salt, pepper, make sure you rub all that spice in there because it's a Cajun spice, so it's nice and fragrant, both sides. And when the salmon scored like that, it makes it so much more fragrant. Turn the salmon over, light dusting with the Cajun spice, salt, pepper, mop all the seasoning up, and literally tidy that up. Don't cook salmon ice cold. Let it get up to room temperature so it cooks quicker, and more importantly, it doesn't dry out on the outside. Make sure you get the pan nice and hot first before you put the oil in. If you have a cold pan, put the oil in whilst the pan's cold, the oil burns before the pan gets hot. Oil in, tablespoon in, in she goes, and lay away. That's the sound, a nice, sizzling hot pan. Get your spatula and just lightly press down. That keeps the salmon skin incredibly flat. It gets nice and crispy. To turn the salmon, that's still cold there. Lift that up and look, that's what I want. That beautiful, nice, golden brown. How do we get more flavor in that salmon? Garlic and thyme, in. I'm gonna turn it back over so it cooks skin side down. Just a touch of butter. That keeps the salmon so moist. And let that salmon sit there now on a low heat for six and a half to seven minutes. Beautiful. One of the first things I learned when I came to America, a great succotash with fish. Start off with a touch of olive oil. Starts off with a red onion. A touch of seasoning, just a little hint. Cajun, that brings it closer to the salmon. Salt, pepper, once we've taken the rawness from that red onion, corn in. Now, give that a really nice saute, really important. Tilt everything down to the pan and pull. Push and pull. That just toasts the corn, stops it from burning. Some nice chopped red peppers. Green pepper, but you gotta hear that noise in the pan. You wanna keep that sizzling going. Yellow peppers, in. And now for a touch of heat, chopped jalapeno. Keep it toasting away. And then finally, zucchini and yellow squash, in. Finish that with chopped fresh cilantro. That gives that really nice, rich flavor. And then finish succotash with fresh lemon. And just squeeze that lemon juice in. Goes brilliantly well with the salmon. Salmon's resting, succotash done. Smashed potatoes. We get our potatoes, put them onto the board, drizzle a touch of olive oil on top, take the palm of your hand, and you smash. Season, salt and pepper. Pan nice and hot, potatoes just lifted up. And those little bits that you think are waste, put them on there. You want all that flavor in there. Into the pan. Take the back of your spatula and just push them down. Now, once you've got the color on there, flip them over. Look at the color of those. Give them a little toss a little knob of butter in there. That gives it that nice nutty brown flavor. Don't worry about them breaking up. That's what you want. That's why they're called smashed potatoes. Just roughly chop the mustard greens. I blanch them for 30 seconds and it gets rid of that raw flavor. And then just literally sprinkle those mustard greens over the potatoes. A touch of garlic and a touch of chopped shallots. Take the lemon and we zest fresh lemon over the greens and then squeeze that lemon over. Right, time to plate. Here we have a lemon aioli mayonnaise that's been seasoned with lots of lemon juice. Take the tip of your spoon and just spread that on there. Mustard greens, smashed potatoes at five o'clock on to your plate. Lift your salmon, it's been cooked skin side down. That is delicious. Finally, just sprinkle, almost like raindrops, this beautiful succotash onto the plate. Incredible colors. Now, how do we finish this? Like you should do with every piece of fish. Just squeeze a touch of lemon juice on the top of your salmon. And there we go, beautiful Alaskan spiced salmon with succotash mustard greens. I should do this for a living.